The disk in this problem has a radius R and a mass capital M. A constant force is applied tangentially to its rim and we're asked to calculate two things, its tangential speed and the magnitude of its acceleration after it's turned 0.2 revolutions. To solve parts A and B, we'll first need to find the magnitude of angular acceleration, alpha, and the angular speed, omega. We can find the angular acceleration using Newton's second law for rotations. That's shown here. The only torque is the torque from the force F, so we can solve for the magnitude of alpha as that torque divided by the moment of inertia. The torque is RF sine phi, and the moment of inertia for a solid disk is 1 half mr squared. The r in the numerator is the distance from the pivot, the center, to the point where the force is applied. That's the disk's radius. And phi is the angle between the r vector and the force. We draw them tail to tail and see that is 90 degrees. Sine of 90 is 1. So our expression for alpha simplifies to rf over 1 half mr squared which you can write this way and substitute numbers and calculate to see that alpha, the angular acceleration, is seven and a half radians per second squared. Now that we know alpha, we can calculate omega, the final angular speed, after turning through those 0.2 revolutions. Find that using this angular kinematic equation. The disk starts from rest, so omega naught is zero. And substitute the known values, converting 0.2 revolutions into radians, which shows that omega squared is 18.8 radians squared per second squared. And take the square root to find the final angular speed omega. That's how fast it's rotating. Now we can find V sub t, the tangential speed, that's what we're asked for in part A. That just equals r times omega. Substitute the known values and calculate to see that it equals 0 0.868 meters per second. Part B asks for the acceleration of a point on the disk's rim. That acceleration has two components. There's a component in the tangential direction due to the fact that the disk is spinning faster and faster and there's a centripetal acceleration due to the circular motion. They're perpendicular, so the magnitude is found using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's come over here and separately calculate the tangential and centripetal components of that acceleration. A sub t, the tangential component, is r times alpha. Substitute values and calculate to see that it equals 1.50 meters per second squared. The centripetal component is v squared over r, which is equal to r times omega squared. Substitute values and calculate to see it equals 3.77 meters per second squared. The magnitude then is the square root of the sum of those values squared. Calculate to find it equals 4.06 meters per second squared.